This is the Silverback Series Smith 5.0 machine from Elite Fitness. I'm going to give you a quick overview of the features of the machine and then I'm going to work my way through and tell you what I like and some things that I would improve about those features. So starting with the front of the machine, got a uh, multi-grip pull-up bar here. Uh, then we have a half rack on the front. Um, at the moment it's got a few accessories on there so it doesn't look as functional as it normally is but basically J-hooks, uh, safety bars and uh, yeah so you're away laughing with a half rack. Then you have a Smith machine here. Uh, the Smith machine has uh, roller bearings in there, also counterweighted, so you can kind of stop at any point. Um, what that means is the weight that's on the bar is, in theory, the weight that you're lifting. Um, then, of course, got the um, functional trainer uh, cable machine here that is uh, adjustable. So you can move these down and up, um, and then you know they're on a, a swivel, so you can get a bit more width for your cable crossovers and the like. Excuse me. Uh, we have um, some weight stacks on the back here. That's obviously very convenient compared to a plate-loaded uh, functional trainer or plate-loaded cable machine. Um, just pull a pin out, chuck it in at the weight that you want to use. Uh, weight storage on the back there, uh, storage for attachments. I believe uh, the machine comes with this lat pull down bar, uh, a couple of um, handles. Don't know if it comes with the uh, tricep rope, a couple of lengths of chain, and then this um, double ended uh, functional bar here. Um, so, plenty of attachments. Um, comes with a couple of a pair of um, uh, collars and oh yeah there's um, this uh, lat pull down uh, leg holder here which um, clips into the um, the J hooks that come with the machine so uh, that's a nice little feature there if you do lat pull downs and then we have um, we have the landmine attachment on the front here which sort of pairs with this um, T-bar row handle it slips over, so you basically take your Olympic bar, plug it in there, use that handle. Uh, so yeah, that's all, all really good. There is one other thing on the back here, um, storage for one Olympic barbell. So I keep a spare bar on the back here. So yeah, that basically sums up the machine. I think I've basically covered everything. Um, some things that I don't like, uh, well I guess talking about the, the half rack at the front, I'll start with a negative. Um, the machine is a three in one, so you know, I, I guess some trade offs had to be made. It's definitely not a commercial um, half rack on the front. I was coming from a very heavy commercial grade full rack, so I guess I was always setting myself up for disappointment. Um, but you know, the, the gauge of steel used um, on these uprights is um, uh, not you know it's not, it's not really heavy duty stuff, but you know it, it does the it does the job. Um, these J hooks are pretty basic um, safeties, quite short, um, but you know it is what it is. I one thing I did is I um, I bought these um, different J hooks from Gym and Fitness, um, which are actually for a um, wider profile steel. Um, so I've added some plastic in there to keep them snug. Uh, so that's just one little thing I did. Um, one of the main peeves about the half rack is the width of it. So I've had to kind of tow the machine in a little bit. And you can see here that um, there's not a lot of leeway on that barbell. So um, it, it's good. It's good for benching um, and for lighter um, barbell work. But I am thinking about adding a dedicated half rack. Um, so that's the half rack. Does what it needs to do, but I wouldn't be buying this as a half rack. Smith machine, I probably covered the features mostly of this. Um, the roller bearings are really nice. It is very smooth. Um, 
the counterweighted stuff is, is pretty nice. I haven't really come across that before. I've only ever used um, home uh, grade um, Smith machines. Um, I will say that it is has got a little bit, probably too much play in this in the Smith machine um, uprights. They've used a um, they've used like a pipe or like a tube here. I think they should have used like solid steel bar. Um, but it's it's definitely not coming out. So that 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 tube extends um, through into that that piece there. So there's there's way way too much um, tube for it ever to sort of pop out or anything. Um, and I mean it probably goes with the fact that this is a light commercial slash home machine. Um, it's probably not not designed with people squatting you know over 200 kgs on the Smith machine. Um, and when you get that kind of weight on, I guess the, the lateral play um, becomes exaggerated. Uh, the cable machine, I think, is really nice. Um, I, I haven't had any issues with it. Um, the cable doesn't tend to jump out of the pulleys or anything like that. Um, I keep all my machines that I've, you know, I've always kept my machines really um, well lubricated with um, silicon spray. Um, so um but yeah this one is this one is all good uh i haven't used uh the full stacks um i don't really do lat pull downs i do um pull ups uh i think so i probably used about half the stack there is a very similar machine i think it's basically the same machine um but with different branding from gym and fitness which has bigger stacks um, and that was, um, but I mean, it's significantly um, more in price and uh, for basically the same machine. Um, so I did talk to Elite about potentially getting some stack upgrades. Um, I haven't really followed through on that because, as I say, I've only ever used about half the stack. Um, so those, yeah, those stacks are, are, are really good, really convenient. Um, I have got a so that's currently supposed to be uh, 9.5 kgs on that weight stack as you can see there pop that in there um, quite closely labeled I suppose um, I, I, what I want to say here is they're quite accurately labeled so I'm just going to plug on um, just going to put one of these handles on here and I've got a um, luggage scale um, so there you go, zero. And if I just pull this out and let that settle, so what we've got here is 10.1. So a little heavier than, than advertised, which is probably not a bad thing. Um, I don't think that anybody's competing in cable lifting or cable pulling. Um, so accuracy of the weight's probably not so important, but um, you will get, uh, what is it, you will get 59 kgs per side. Um, so that is that. Uh, something that I've found pretty funny is these, um, is these weight pegs. So I don't know why they didn't just attach this with a bolt to this. Um, or find some way to make that work. Maybe weld it straight on, um, so this upright becomes one piece with the weight horn. Instead, they've gone for this um, funny bracket that's welded on um, in four spots, and then a weight horn, which is joined to this um, quite thin steel plate here, and then they're just um, they're just attached by that little. Um, grommety uh, nut type thing there. Um, they're, they're not that they're not that solid, um, especially when you've got 60 kgs on one peg. They haven't bent. Um, ultimately, you know, you're not um, you're not putting uh, at static weight. You know, you're not you're not. Um, it's just sitting there. So whatever um, I think that could have been possibly designed a little bit better overall I would say that this is a um, really good light commercial home grade machine um, with commercial features 
Um, I think it possibly could hold up in a commercial gym, but probably not as a half rack. And um, you'd be limiting, I guess, the amount of weight that you stored on those weight pegs. I'm kind of using it as like a powerlifting half rack. Um, and then with um, the, the extra features of the cables and the Smith machine. Um, so yeah, the half rack's probably not quite, um, not quite doing the job for me. But, well, it is doing the job, but I, I think that um, it, could, it could be better on the half rack front. But it's always a trade-off when you have these all-in-one machines. Um, so overall, I'd say I'm really happy with it. I definitely would recommend it. Um, value for money, I think if you compare it with the gym and fitness machine, which is essentially the same machine, um, it is like, I think it's like $1,000 cheaper. So uh, that's pretty good. And um, yeah, you get a lot in one package. So I'm gonna say this is um, definitely worth buying, especially if you already have um, like a rack or somewhere else that you do your squats and or if you're just a you know just a regular um, home lifter so that was the that was the, that was the decision that I was making I wasn't using my home gym much at all uh, last year and um, it was taking up a lot of space in this basement which um, you know it took, took up that whole area in there as well um, and so I guess it became like, is it worth waste, you know, using this whole basement for something that I'm not using? I always thought as I got older, I would transition into something like this, um, where I, when I wasn't lifting as heavy, where I could just have, you know, a, a little half rack on the front just to sort of play around with. And um, as it happens, it happened, I, I made that transition a little bit earlier than I thought, and I've started to get back into some heavier lifting. So, um, as I say, I might end up getting a standalone half rack for the heavier lifts. Um, and use this for uh, lightweight uh, rack work and um, of course for the Smith and the cable um, pieces. Um, pull up bar, great. And um, T bar row with the um, landmine, really like that. I uh, haven't used the lat pull down as I say uh, a lot because I, I, I mainly do pull ups. Um, but um, yeah, that, that'll be great um, when I do get to using it. Uh, I hope that gives you a good idea of whether or not this is the sort of machine that you want to use. Um, feel free to add a comment or question um, after this. I can uh, maybe post some more detail in another video or something.